plus would that equal to? If this will be a plus? Yeah, because it's to the power of four. Right. What do you mean? To, uh, if Cosine to squared x. And um, not really. Uh, but w how can we rewrite cosine four? So we can rewrite it as cosine squared, right? We remember power rules. n times m, right? So it means I can rewrite this as cosine squared x to the power of 2, right? And then I can rewrite sine in the same way. And now what do we have? Something square minus something square. It's difference of squares. The difference of squares, right? So we can do this thing minus sine square x well, uh, times cosine square x plus sine square x. And then this bracket equals to cosine squared plus sine squared is 1, right? This formula is cosine of double angle right here. So we basically, we did too much. This isn't going to help us. Questions? Okay, let's do next exercise. Uh, part B. So we have cosecant square x minus 2 over cosecant square x. Okay, so what can we do here? So probably let's try to rewrite. What is cosecant? Um, 1 over it's like cosine. It's 1 over sine. 1 over sine. So it's 1 over sine and it's squared x minus 2 over 1 over sine squared x. Okay, so we can bring to common denominator top. Questions up to here? Good? Yeah. And then what? What happens? So we divide two fractions, right? So I'm just going to write in more details so everybody can understand. So I'm, so we divide, right? And then because we have division, right, so we'll replace it with multiplication, right? So when we replace it with multiplication, this fraction switched, right? So we have 2 sine times, okay? Then we can cancel these two terms. What's left? 1 minus 2 sine square x. Okay, so what is it equal to? Um, it's again, let us assume your double angle formula. So this is 1 minus 2 sine square x is cosine. cosine 2x. 